Now, the South Australian Drought Hub is supporting the virtual fencing project because when we undertook consultation right around the state, from the far north of the state, right down to the, the high rainfall areas and, and, and everything in between, we kept, we kept getting producers saying that virtual fencing was something that they saw as a, a really good tool for building drought resilience. Um, we've taken that on board um, and we've had the opportunity to partner with, with SARDI, the South Australian Research Development Institute, or to extend a project that they were running um, and undertake virtual fencing in a, in a few different areas and doing a few different applications. So virtual fencing is an ag tech solution designed to contain or exclude animals from a specific area without the need for physical fencing. Virtual fencing is a GPS enabled technology, um, so the virtual boundaries are all GPS powered um, and are communicated to the animal via a neck band. The main benefits of virtual fencing for livestock are the reduction in physical infrastructure required on farm. So um, reduced need for physical fencing and electric fencing. Additionally, um, a reduction in labour inputs required for rotational grazing, for example, uh, less requirement for manually shifting animals and erecting electric fences. Also the ability to manage livestock uh, with precision, so targeted management of livestock within paddocks or exclusion of livestock from particular areas on farm. There will be field trials taking place throughout South Australia Predominantly the field trials will be based at, here at the Struan Research Centre, uh, but we'll also have trials taking place on the Eyre Peninsula as well as in the far north of South Australia. So virtual fencing fits in with drought resilience and preparation in the sense that it's a management tool for, for livestock and it will, it will assist farmers and, and pastoralists to undertake better pasture utilisation or, or better fodder utilisation um, by being able to manage where the stock graze and for how long and, and, and so on. Uh, also it will enable people to, to better manage ground cover so that in dry times or, or drought um, there's, there's a, a level of ground cover that's maintained and soil erosion can be, can be avoided. It, it's also really good for uh, managing soil and keeping soil health because you, you're avoiding soil erosion. Um, and also there's a labour, labour saving component to virtual fencing um, that, that will assist commercial properties. Some really important project partners are SARDI, the South Australian Research and Development Institute. They had the virtual fencing project and we've added um, a little bit onto that to extend the project to, to a few different regions. There, there are a lot of trials and a lot of, a lot of work being done right around Australia at the moment on virtual fencing and I, I don't think we've fully appreciate the, the applications that virtual fencing can, can provide us. 